If you want 4 and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie, timing is everything. We're not talking time in the oven for the perfect crust, we're talking the moment the young rooks, which supply the filling, are sitting pretty on the branches and not on the wing. So here we are, Paul confident of a red letter day, checking zero on his Air Arms S410 in 2-2. Joining him is his friend Johnny Muston, manager at gunshop R&K Stockcraft. Johnny has the S510 in 177. Both rifles are topped by Hawk glass. Bit of zero in. Put it across. Did a bit of grouping. For some reason, Paul is keen to show us his grouping. Check out them, that. Them, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got to show them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, closer. What's that, five stacked on top of each five. other? Check that out. Go weigh that in, mate. Very nice. Let's see how that translates into the field. Now, this is not a one for the pot exercise. The meat is a byproduct. It's pest control, and that's the way Paul likes it. We get a lot of problem on the game crops. This time of year, we just put the maize in. Um, next week, we're going to put the maize in, and we're going to get quite a few rooks come out there. And just when they're just coming through, they dig down and, and pull them out. Um, not only that, they're going to the milky crops. When the when the crops get laid, they uh, Hammer the milky crops, and then we got pheasant eggs, and obviously all the birds' eggs. A couple up there, look, straight above us. Some 12 o'clock. Is that 12 o'clock? We're straight above you. Is that 12 o'clock? Is that? that That's... In front of you. What's that? In? Moon o'clock. <laughs> Don't shoot them all. Do you want to like, just uh, balance it all out, really? Enough for your pie. Well, I'm not keen on the rook pie because I see what they eat. So, and I've obviously opened up a few, and it's just not for me. Um, I've had a few friends that have come and we've shot a few and I took off some, be they look beautiful breasts, it's like pigeon breasts. Um, and they've gone away and said they had steak and, and uh, rook pie, it was beautiful. Johnny's going to take some today, he's going to take him, cut him a few off. I'm going to try it, I'm yeah. back to chef. Oh chef, not a home, not a home not job. Me. There. <laughs> no, 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 not me. Well, the good lady, is that the chef or is it? No, 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 no mate of mine is a, is a chef. Yeah. He's, he's like, will he um, sterilise them and take all the wire worms out? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I'll tell you the truth, I think it's the same as a lot of things. If you don't handle it a lot, yeah. it's um, never a problem. But when you've seen it at its worst, I think, you know, you become sort of like choosy. Knowledge, knowledge. Cho knowledge is king. Knowledge. Choosy, what you <laughs> Yeah, just, yeah, no, it's uh, fine, yeah. Yeah, no, you, it, to be honest with you, you open them up, take the breast off, um, yeah. Shall I save you a slice? <laughs> yeah? What? Shall I save you a slice? No. <laughs> right. Let's go have a look. I reckon I'm... Right, let's get in and see what oh, yeah, we have. Go. The initial first? signs are good. However, the initial shots are not. You got a shot there? Yeah. No. <laughs> You've got to be precise, haven't you? God! Paul takes the trees one. apart, twig by twig. So that. Thankfully, that Johnny is here to save the day. I'm a 177 man, personally. Um, a lot of people think sort of bigger is better. Um, and I love the 177 trajectory. It's a lot, lot flatter, it's a lot, lot quicker. He got a better gun. <laughs> 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 he got a better gun, I swear it. What's the difference then? Obviously you've got the bigger... I'm, I'm not shooting the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks mate. <laughs> it's like 200 feet per second quicker to the target than the 2.2. Um, and it just shoots that bit flatter as well. It doesn't have the knockdown power that you get from a 2.2, but it does have far, far greater penetrative power. So, so with that's the pretty good. today, you would have naturally gone for the... Yeah, yeah, a lot of people... If you were shooting, I don't know, short range rats, perhaps then a 2-2 would be better. But if you're shooting at a bit of a distance, especially anything over sort of 25 yards where you're getting the second half of the trajectory loop, that's where a 177 really comes into its own. I mean, it's sort of 50 yards between these two rifles. I would imagine this will probably drop about three, zeroed at 30, will drop about three inches with the pellets we're using and the 2-2 will dub, double that and that'll be six inches. So you're getting quite a lot flatter. Um, so distance judgment, you don't have to be quite as accurate with a 177 as you do with a 22, because you're getting a greater loop. So if you need all the help you can get, like me, have a 177. Yeah. 
Johnny keeps chipping away. Paul, however, is off. There's a clear difference between the dedicated air gunner and the rifle shot. I have no patience for this at all. You're, you're bored, aren't you? Not bored. No, no, not bored. No, no. I just want to get on. I'm already looking down there. I was like looking for fox cubs and yeah, down yeah. that side there. And yeah. I thought, I'll nip up to that side. I won't get a rabbit. And how many you got? Three? Four? Five, you shot five, have you? No, I haven't shot five. I didn't tell you. Oh, I haven't shot any. Haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I shot about nine trees. Realistically, they're like two days, three days or two late, really. They've just got a bit extra wing where they can get away and perch up on a nearby tree, and the parents can go in and feed them there. I'm thinking about going rabbit shooting. <laughs> 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 I'm do a bit of rabbit stalking. Have you got some rabbits? Yeah, got a few out on the blood of the village where I can't really shoot them with a 2.2 or a 1.7 either. Um, so we could, calm down, calm down. Yeah, we could go, we could do that actually. How far is that, Johnny? Mr. Childerly has a chance on a very nicely presented bunny, but misses twice. And apparently he's a champion air rifle shot. What do you reckon? I think you missed it. But when I was younger, I was in a uh, air rifle club and team and uh, shot county stuff, seven metres, I think it was, some peep sights. We were the champions of Gloucestershire. <laughs> no, we were actually. I was only like, uh, I think I was probably like 13, 12, 13 to about 16, 17. But I learnt, learnt quite a lot from them guys. And uh, it's got a pressure trying to shoot like championships and only for 13, 14, with all these people watching. It's good, it's good. Um, but I haven't shot arrows for a long time. I borrow one occasionally to have a squirrel in the garden, that's about it. So, you find it's addictive though, it? It, Yeah, it's addictive. But like I say earlier, you, know, you see the difference in the two characters of hunters. John is very patient, methodic, and whereas I'm like, you know, even on that rabbit down there, I'd like just used to shooting a 172 tick straight up, don't allow for anything under 50, you know, you're just straight at it. So, um, yeah, different game. Might have been showing up a little bit today on the old air rifles. Not on the targets though, five pellets in the same hole, <laughs> off the sticks. So bipod sticks. You yeah. dragged me up here for rooks again, a day late again. <sighs> well, I had to, to wait for everybody to... Not me, I was raring to go. I know, yeah, unfortunately that wasn't quite the... again. Which is a bit annoying for me because it is a, it is a job basically. We need to take out a few just to reduce the numbers a little bit because like I say, the game crops are going in and they, that, ma that maze when it's shooting is just, it's just like heaven for them. They come on there and go all the way down the rows. Um, and then the milky crops, when the, when the crops start going flat, you get the milky barley, jackdaws and rooks just absolutely just swarm to that. So what we don't catch today, we'll basically be shooting in, in that time of year. So, yep. So it's uh, your fault. <laughs> the one thing that might change Paul's luck is a very special technique championed by Johnny. The soon to be infamous Golden touch. You talked about the, the golden spot or the golden touch earlier <laughs> the on. Gold, so it, tell me about that, please. Well, it was, uh, I did a course, um, a 10 metre target shooting course um, with a pre charged air rifle, which standing shooting, shooting 10 metre. And I forget her name now, so if she's watching this, I do apologise. But she was a GB um, instructor and she was talking about basically trigger control, something that we all know about, but it was a totally different method from what I had employed previously, which is to draw in your breath and, and then breathe out. I'm gonna get this wrong now. <laughs> <laughs> but basically this technique is when you touch your tongue into the top of your mouth, you immediately stop breathing. And she called it, I think it was the golden touch. It was basically, it, it sounds so sad. I bet, I bet it wasn't. <laughs> I bet I've got it totally wrong. Should we read in this spitted pellet? Don't Google. Um, don't Google. Don't Google. Oh, don't I'm going to apologise in advance for this, but mouth. but anyway, it was it was something along those lines, David. All right. But you, I mean, we've got lots of people now touching the, the top, top of, of the, the, yeah with their tongues, and you do stop breathing. And you do stop breathing. And basically, it was about timing. All to do with the timing is touch the tongue in the top of the mouth, and then you have got that split second there that you just relax breathe into it and then take the shot so and it worked it works at the beginning of the the course i was shooting 10 10 meters i was shooting into it about an inch freestanding shooting with dive to sight and by the end of it by the end of the day using these uh, breathing techniques we were touching pellets at that distance which is standing shootings i didn't think i'd be able to do that i thought that was pretty good i had another go not too long ago i can't do it now but you know <laughs>
<laughs> out of practice. There you go. Please let us know if the golden touch changes your fortunes. So, a fun morning with a bag of five rooks, probably enough for a pasty, definitely not a pie. If you want to ask Johnny what they taste like, RK Stockcraft, like many other UK gun shops, is planning to open their doors on the 1st of June 2020. These bloody trees. <laughs>